Hi, my name is Lisa Milady. I'm an elementary school counselor and I am also a children's book author. And today I have a lesson to help you think about the importance of what to do when words are hurtful. This is something we all struggle with. Kids, adults, everybody's feelings get hurt when mean words or painful words come into your head. And so today we're going to talk about the importance of protecting your heart, protecting your brain, and protecting yourself from other people's mean words and what to do with kind words. So I have here a head and it says, in one ear and out the other. Haven't we heard that a million times? Things that don't help us should go in one ear and out the other. But to really show kids how this is done, here are some words and you have a choice. It says in one ear and out the other. So here is the word that is hurtful or mean and it goes in here and then we tilt it out and we get rid of it. Actually having the chance to go from one ear and out the other really helps kids to understand what to do when they encounter hurtful words from another person. Now, the important part is what do you do with kind words and kind words go straight to your heart so when people are nice and people are kind they go in and then they go straight to your heart we hold on to kind words to help us feel strong so we are ready to battle and to fight off those words that might hurt our heart. So here's a game you can play with kids. I have a whole bunch of cards. I like making cards from things that kids say or things that I hear or what I want them to hear. So let's say a student picks a card and it says, you don't listen. Oh, that's painful. So you have the chance to take your words and go in one ear and out the other. And in anything we do, it's always important to end on a good note. So let's say they got another chance and you have, you are an excellent student. <gasps> Hooray, that feels good. So it's going to go in one ear and whoops, <laughs> that's what happens in one ear and into straight into your heart. How I love to end things. It is nice when we hear good things that people say to us, but it's even better when we turn it into an affirmation. So if somebody says to you, you are an excellent student, how do we turn that around? I am an excellent student. We all need practice. Not listening, not holding on to negative things that are said. We all need to hold on and put in our hearts the positive messages we hear. And better yet, an affirmation that reminds us how special we really are. Hope you enjoyed this.